Welcome everybody to another episode of Dork York Presents XCOM 2 Long War 2 1.3 Season 8 of the Reddit Army. I am your commander, Dork York. We are playing on Legend Iron Man today. <clears throat> Why are we looking at this screen? Well, we're looking at this screen because Operation Omega Rumble, which was to be the fifth episode of the season, uh, would not uh, render. And the file is corrupt, and I've done everything I can to fix it, but my desktop is a gigantic piece of shit. So, I'm just going to give you a quick 30-second recap. I sent in a team <clears throat> consisting of Rookie, Ark Jackson, uh, Spicy Jeff Peppers, and Mike of the Ashes Sullivan. They were rookies. And I sent them along with Squatties, uh, VV, uh, Daryl Davis, and Bullet Sponge. Um who were a sniper, gunner, and specialist, respectively. They uh, did not get promotions. The three rookies got promoted to Squatty, um, and you'll see their classes soon. We uh, Operation Mega Rumble was an extract of Speed Racer, who uh, was a technical, but we changed him to Herb Railroad Smalls after we, Small after we got out. Um, our loot was uh, we got two officer corpses, uh, one PCS depth perception and advanced ag agility PCS, uh, conditioning PCS, advanced expanded magazine, one stun lancer corpse, one viper corpse, and one trooper corpse. Uh, no one took any wounds. It was relatively smooth. Uh, no reinforcements made it in. Uh, there weren't any like really daunting, harrowing moments. Nothing that defied. Actually, <coughs> um... Uh, uh, bullet sponge nailed uh, like a 28% shot to flat out crit kill a, an officer. It was a really great shot. Anyway, I can't seem to get the file correct, so I'm not going to continue to waste time on it. So that's what happened. Um, we got brick in the uh, in officer training. I don't know if that's about it. You'll see whatever else there is, you'll see when we load in. It was, um, it was a fun mission. I enjoyed it. I wish I could share it with y'all, but there's just, I tried rendering it. I, it shows up that it's like 77 hours long when I put it in multiple different ed editors. Um, and yeah, so anyway, we'll go over the queue real quick here. Um, <clears throat> we got Brick Manley is an officer training for 46 more hours. Um, we've got, uh, Agent 47 is in uh, advanced warfare training to get ghost walker our lab was finished i'm not sure if that happened in in this episode in the last episode or not um we're doing uh, predator armor that'll be ready in six days nine days for a supply drop and clearing alien machinery in 16 days um we got a poi for an additional contact i, I think that happened where you guys saw it we have an engineer that's apparently not doing shit because we just finished the lab. And let's go ahead and stick Greg in here. Now he's doing something. This will be ready in eight days. Trying to dig down. I want to get down to this power coil. <clears throat> and we are going to scan. Yeah. We got Furious Tides. That, that's going to pop here any second. There we go. And there it is. Extremely light Operation Rumboid Blade, and we're sending in. This is Furious Tide with uh, Stormwind, Sierra, Holy Grail, Salamander, and uh, Rogue Mage. So let's pop in. It's vulnerable. Extremely light. Yeah. Uh, Twenty-eight Intel and Intel package. It says find a lead, but this isn't the find a lead we're looking for. The find a lead we need will not come with an Intel package. It will literally just be find a lead. But you guys know that. <clears throat> All right, Rumboid Blade, let's go. Man, 
Menace 1 5, this is Avenger. The access point we're after is just ahead. Move to secure the area. Okay. Resistance. <clears throat> what is over here? Literally, they all turn their guns. Yep, so there is that. And then we've got to get over here. Um, I don't know if that window will allow for any trickery. But obviously we're going to scan around. Okay, nothing. Uh, we're not here to worry about loot. We're not here to uh, do anything of the such. Got it. Or of the sort, rather. So let's get bouncing over here. There are some civilians over there. We got extremely lucky. I did buy a Fulton harness. And so when we kill some kill some people, we should be able to, um, Come on, man. we'll be able to extract a few bodies, uh, no problem. Holy shit. A little more agile than the ones we fought in the past. It looks like they're still serving as the aliens front line, though. Let's do this. Seven off. Okay, well, we know where seven of the potential nine are. Since how it's vulnerable, it's probably closer to seven or eight than nine. Muton, surveillance drone, gunner, trooper, officer, trooper, double trooper, officer. I'd really like to start on this Muton, but I don't know if that's possible or not. We don't have a lot of time to... to yeah, we don't have a lot of time to figure out uh, a good ambush spot so we're basically gonna have to go here as soon as we can go and I'm thinking they are close enough potentially uh, no they're just a little off let me get right up here and see if I can burn them are they is that a spot where I can reach them all um, no actually I don't reach any of them Okay, so we're gonna hunker here. I want you to spin back around over here, maybe. Let's ghost walker actually. And come up here. I have seen it! I have seen it! Commander, we have confirmation of the exposed access point. Small alien alloy cache. Let's go ahead and snag that. <clears throat> Then we might as well hack or shut down the. Uh, oh, actually, I, I bet that's not the one I see. Um, we'll save our haywire to get the drone that's with that muton pod. We actually do have the ability. We could like move up and maybe frost bomb that other group, or at least frost bomb the muton. So I want to keep that in mind with Rogue Mage. We're actually just going to leave him where he is. We won't do anything with her. Oh wait, uh, we're not activating this turn. No, we're not. So let's just uh, let's move up. Yeah, we'll just overwatch, overwatch. Okay, I'm hoping they move in such a way that I will be able to snag them with a, a flamethrower, burn them all. But the muton is who I want to hit with a... Ooh, perfect. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Yeah. Okay, I think I'll be... Oh, no, damn. <clears throat> okay, well... No cool ambush. We're just gonna run. Okay. These guys will scatter. They're gonna scatter big, so I won't get a good shot on any of them. Yeah. Is he coming in too? We're just gonna get them all? No, apparently not. Okay. Area suppressed. Fantastic. Overwatch. Jesus Christ. The whole fucking goddamn army overwatched. Alright. Let's... First of all, we will... 
how we're gonna break this Overwatch is you have oh yeah that's how we'll do it. Where are we running him to? I think the officer is the biggest threat, right? Shit! Oh, that's dog shit. Um. Okay, I need to max roll and crit and kill him, and we did great. Body shield, okay, that could be interesting. Especially early on, that could be real nice. Sierra, I want you to aid protocol Stormwinds. And I want you to try to take control of this drone. So he will be a target. And out in the open target. 75. We're triple the fucking score, damn near. Um, there we go, that'll be plus five. Alright, drone's ours. Salamander. We are terribly positioned with these guys where they are. Holy Grail definitely has to come out. Um, I'm gonna move Salamander up, and I wanna try to burn... The gunner. It'll definitely break his suppression. There we go. Burning, and there we go. Nice. Overwatch removed. Now. We, if we come over here, we should be fine to uh, get our frost bomb on him. Nope! Nope! Just fucking, just fucking miss him. Hmm. Almost as if it's bullshit. All right, we'll flashbang him so it'll fuck him up for a turn at least a little. And Come over here and kill his dumb ass. The only one that that advanced trooper, or not advanced trooper, that regular trooper up on here with the loot is uh, in a easy is easily in a position to flank us. So he may just stay exactly where he is and uh, just. Mm, no, who's he shooting at? Oh, the drone. Very nice. Yeah, hit the fuck out of it. Beautiful. That's in a great spot for Holy Grail to run up and kill him. Pick up that loot. Muton. Mm, shoots and shoot and a miss. Okay, and we also need to throw out our uh, fucking evac, which we didn't. Stormwind. Let's do that real quick. Let's see, Holy Grail. This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. Let's evac that body. Let's come over here and kill this piece of shit. Alright, down he goes. We pick up his loot. Bring out your day. Laser sight, okay. Oh goody. Another drone. Yeah. 
air catch. Fire this rocket and fuck him up some. And Stormwind can run and gun, come up and pop that fucking Muton. Alright, well, put the hurt on him. We're not gonna kill him in one shot, obviously. Anybody else think that like once you use your flashbang um, or your ordnance that you should lose the mo mobility penalty? It's just me. I mean, don't get me wrong. I could totally come up with a like lore, not necessarily lore, but like a reason why, like just. You know, you could just say, well, they're encumbered from carrying it, and even the relief of using it still doesn't, uh, blah, 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 whatever. What's going on? Oh, damn it. Disoriented, you piece of shit. Alright, there is one more drone down there, and I really okay. would love to, uh, kill it, because it had loot. Holy Grail. Let's use our Fulton Harness on this. Ooh, and we just missed that. Okay. 65. Nope. That'd have been cool. Stand aside, worthy adversary. Alright, let's. Resistance broadcast? Yeah, let's go for that. Yeah, let's go for that. There we go. Would have gotten the big boy, but that's alright. One new resistance member. There we go. I definitely got that one. No one's getting past me. Affirmative. Covering now. Oh, yeah, get in here. Where is Holy Grail? Yeah, run down here and kill that thing, hopefully. Nice! So we'll get the loot and we can pick this up and carry it out. The Black Knights always find them! Emergency life support, okay. I think that's our first, maybe. Alright, let's carry this. There we go. Get that fucking muton research done early. Get plasma grenades. Okay. 
And let's kill it. There we go. So we get credit for it. It's fantastic. And let's pick up this thing and we'll start carrying it towards evac. I'm gonna leave. Um... You got it. Head Wait. Now. Oh, the officer. There's an officer right over here. I want that body. Yeah, I'd much rather have that body. And I really, th I'm thinking about leaving Salamander empty for a minute because reinforcements might come in, and I might prefer a body that comes with them. Rather than, uh... Looks like they called in some friends. You know what, let's just... Overwatch all here. First thing that moves gets it. And then we'll end the turn. And... We're all in a position to pick up a body that we want and walk out of here. Uh, and not have to fight this shit. Oh, there's three? Oh god, I'd, ra I'd much rather get that fucking officer, but I don't think I can kill three. We'll see where they scatter to. Oh, holy shit. Wait, how is Stormwind wounded? It's time to go. He got shot once with his ablative. Right? I gotta go back and watch the footage. So I could come here and maybe kill this officer. Hmm. But if I don't do it, then... Then I'm really fucked. She could burn both these guys pretty easily, I think. You know, okay, well, let's come here. here I come. We'll risk not carrying that loot out, and let's see if we if we set these two on fire, we'll try it with Paige. Engaged. Okay, we set them both on fire. We got a backup with uh, with rogue mage if things go awry so. alright we're right next to him damn it mineral no crit actually let's just put this down and come and fletch him for the guarantee kill. Him to the fall. There we go. Bring out your dead. I'm gonna have Stormwind leave. So have you pick up this officer. There we go, and we'll come and get you out. Just you two. Okay, well, in the turn. Okay. Pick up this officer. I'm. I'm glad. I'm glad this happened. I like this plan. This is a good plan. I love this plan. I'm happy to be a part of it. Um, we will pick up this, yeah, we'll pick up this guy. A five ounce bird could not carry a one yeah. pound coconut. Let's move already. See if we can pick this up. Yeah, we can. All right, is that everybody? Everybody's got loot and has evac yeah, they have. Okay, great. 
Okay, let's get out of here. I'm out of here. All XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. I can't believe how am I missing where Stormwind got wounded? Oh, that's right. Okay, and now it's coming back to me. He took a on that uh, lightning reflexes run on the third Overwatch. He took his ablative gone, and then he got shot for one by the uh, drone. That's what happened. Okay, Operation Rumboy Blade. Let's see how we did. If we keep this up, the aliens don't stand a chance. Okay, four promotions. Nice. Um, we're gonna go. Hmm. We're going to Sapper. We are going to go... Close personal. Yeah. Because I don't like trench gun. It's like setting up ambush stuff. I don't really like it that well. And rarely are they more than one person. You know, typically I don't stack up unless it is an ambush. And, uh, yeah, so I don't like doing that. And our pul pulsar is, is garbage. The... Uh, the damage it does to mechanical units is tiny and insignificant. Uh, field Surgeon, without a doubt. And Napalm X. Fuck yeah. Okay, great. Two Officer Corpses, one Body Shell PCS, one Illyrium Core, one Laser Sight, one Emergency Life Support PCS, one Muton Corpse, three Trooper Corpses, one Drone Wreck, ten Alien Alloys. Great stuff. Let's head to the Geoscape. Let's scan a little bit. Let's set up a mission. Because, yeah, we got nothing going. Ooh! The POI was a soldier. I didn't even know there was. Yeah, there is a POI. I wonder what we got. Greg Manley's at officer school. Very nice. All right, who can we get in there? Stormwind's out sick. How long has he gone for? You soldiers. Wounded, wounded. Four and seven days. All right, let's go ahead and stick a scientist in here. Um, just to cut the cut those times in half. Yeah, three and five. All right. Also, one thing we're gonna do right now while I'm thinking about it is we're gonna go over to the resistance management. And Joe's coming out, and we're gonna put in his place. Um, let's see. We will put uh, of the Ash Sullivan. You're going in. And in the Western United States, we got Murica. Yeah, I'm definitely coming out. I was wondering where the fuck he was. Uh, and we'll put in Daryl Davis. There we go. And, yeah, who's going to be an officer here? We, no, 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 none of these people. Okay. Mm. We can make Juliet one. I can pull her out of that other, I can pull her out of uh, Furious Tide. You know what, we're going to wait because... Stormin's gonna be out in what? I don't know. When's Stormin gonna be out of the med bay? Three days? Yeah, we'll wait. Who's in the AWC right now? Okay, yeah. In 23 hours, he'll be out. So, what I think I'll do. You know, we don't have any rookies. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I think I got it figured out in my head. I just, I'm not gonna say it out loud because it's changed my mind. All right, a scan. Ooh, that's Monkey. We just recruited Monkey. What'd we find? Eight days, 17 hours. This is a sharpshooter. And that is, who is that? 
Is that one of our guys? Ashley Harrison. It is not. Um, extract, uh, sharpshooter intel package, lots of time. Yeah. I'll put a small team together on this and see if we can't just sneak them out. Okay, here's our squad. We're sending in the Ingestibles, and uh, I'm guest starring uh, Coldstream on this mission. Um, we're going to head and go and tr try to get Ashley Harrison out, sharpshooter. That's going to be Marc Lacrom, our French uh, froggy friend from across the pond. Anyway, yeah, so we're going to send them out and get them. Um, this is not a fighting mission. This is a sneaking mission. Um, yeah, so we'll get that going. Ghost Walker's done. You soldier. Um, I think... Okay, so do the, do the math with me real quick. We've got how long until he's out? we got two days. Okay, two days. Is there... Let's see, let's uh, go back to you soldiers, AWC abilities. Um, there's nothing I can give him that he'll get in two days. But I'd really love to put Stormwind right in here, get him quick, uh, quick study so that then I can get him into the officer training. But I got two days to burn here in the uh, AWC. Anybody else that I give anybody else quick study that's already wait who yeah I just sent her out Jesus Christ um yeah just brick literally just brick okay so we'll just leave it empty for two days uh, I hate that but uh it's most efficient to get my get my officers in here and get them quick study and get them out. Okay, let's come down here, finish scanning, and we'll call this an episode. There we go. Firefight. Lance Corporal Baritone Slide Whistle, who is a gunslinger. Uh, he will not be a gunslinger. Or he will not be Firecracker, I can tell you that, because Firecracker is not a gunslinger. He is going to be... Okay, welcome Bradley Big Lunch. We're going to change his voice, though. To Master Shake, because I I think it's fucking hilarious. So yeah, that's his voice. And yeah, quick draw, definitely. No doubt. And then I also need to... Where is... Ceres? Customize. Voice. I think I have a better one. I've got two archers. There's one I like better than the other. Yep, that's the one. Okay. So we got those guys settled away. Um, four days on armor, alien machinery, and five days pod drop and six. So we're going to go ahead and end this episode. I've been your Commander Dork York. This has been XCOM 2 Long War 2 1.3 Season 8 of the Reddit Army. Appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed yourself, please like, comment, subscribe. Check out the links in the description of the video. Fuck you, Central. Take care, guys.